you know, lots of people are hearing about Cosmos or hearing about the Atom token for the first time. But they hear about all the DeFi applications we have in Cosmos, maybe the airdrops are what interests them at the moment, and they want to come over to Cosmos. Well, it might not be that easy for a first-time non-native Cosmos user, so I made a video that will help you get your tokens over here in four different ways. And then once you're here, we're going to use a network called Archway, which is part of the Cosmos ecosystem, and you could use the Atom token to get there. Welcome everybody, Cosmos Joe here, just doing this video for the Archway Marketing DAO. Want to help some people learn about Archway, learn about Cosmos, and also showcase how easy it is for newcomers to make their way over here, even if they don't have centralized exchange access. At the end of the video, I'll showcase Astro Vault, which is a DEX on Archway. It's its own blockchain. And this DEX is going to have its token launch in the very near future, a couple of days from when I released this video. And it's a, definitely a different model DEX where the DEX is actually able to generate revenue and launch without a token. But we'll highlight all things Cosmos in this video, so sit tight. Even if you're coming from ETH, even if you're coming from Polygon or Solana or Cardano, wherever, I think you'll get a lot out of this video. And we're going to start with bridging. Here's Squid. Uh, Squid is a router. It's going to help you get tokens from point A, swap them, and get new tokens over in point B. And I'm going to launch the app right here. You're going to move tokens, and this is the network here. This is the token. This is the new network, the destination network, and the new tokens. So let's, um, let's say you're coming from Ethereum, and you've got whatever token on Ethereum. It could be a stable coin like DAI, and you want to get over to Cosmos. I'm just going to search it, Cosmos Hub, and you want Atom tokens, right? Yes, we can get Atom on a centralized exchange, which is pretty easy, but maybe you don't want to use a centralized exchange. This is what you would do. You would connect your Ethereum wallet, which is presumably where you have DAI, or maybe it's Link, or maybe it's ETH tokens, and it's going to connect. Then you're going to add your, your Cosmos address. And my Leap wallet is opening. I don't think you can see that, but I have to unlock the wallet. Simple password. It's asking to connect to Squid Router. I'm going to approve that. And it's going to populate my Cosmos address. These are different networks, right? Ethereum, Cosmos, different wallets. You can use MetaMask with Cosmos, uh, with an, with um, an application, or I should say, a um, an add-on to MetaMask, Cosmos Snaps is what we call it, and I did make a video on that. Um, you could easily use your MetaMask that way; you don't have to make a new wallet. You can see the addresses are totally different. Two different wallets. It could be the same seed words, just load it into two different wallets, which is actually the situation here. If I'm using something like Optimism or Polygon. It'll be the, the same address. You just have to switch the network in MetaMask. Anyway, I switched to Kava because I do have some stable coins there. This is Axelar USDC. And you could see it's going to get some estimation of um, gas and fees and whatnot. Gives me the fee breakdown. But long story short, Squid Router is going to take a couple of minutes. It's going to move tokens from one network to another network and swap the tokens in the process. I would just give permission and then boom, it would be like a long transaction compared to what you might be used to, but the tokens will get there. That's one bridge. Here's bridge number two. This is called gravity and it's a very similar idea. If I'm transferring tokens from the Ethereum network, I'm going to have to connect an Ethereum wallet just like I did with um, gravity, uh, sorry, with squid router. And this is going to send the tokens to, um, to any of these networks here. I could send directly to Archway, right? From ETH to Archway. I could do that. Let's connect the wallets and see what that looks like. See, for this bridge, I can't use Leap Wallet. That's okay. I also have Kepler. What I do for Cosmos is I keep two wallets. I keep Kepler. I keep um, Leap. 
I have the same seed words loaded into both. Some apps prefer one over the other. For the most part, you can get around with just one of them, but here's a situation where Leap is not integrated. I'll pick Kepler. The wallet addresses populate right here. And I could select the token that I want to uh, I want to use. The way Gravity Bridge works is it basically batches the transactions. It could take a while, but this is to reduce fees. Um, I've used Squid Router before. It does take a little, a couple of minutes, but Gravity Bridge will take a little bit longer. Might be cheaper. Depends on the networks you're swapping from. Depends what tokens, I guess, and the time of the day, the traffic, and all that. But that's bridge number two. Let's say you don't want to use a bridge and you're perfectly fine using a centralized exchange. Very easy to enter, maybe even easier. You could see this is my wallet here. I'm using Leap and I've selected, oh, it just went away, Noble Chain. What's Noble? Well, this is Circle's USDC chain. It's the stablecoin chain in Cosmos. The way Cosmos works is there are separate networks and each network, it's on its own blockchain but they're interconnected and you can move tokens back and forth rather easily. All you would do, you have your noble address here, Coinbase, whatever the, whatever the centralized exchange is, you need USDC and you have to make sure you withdraw it to noble, right? The default on Coinbase for me is to automatically withdraw to Ethereum, right? That's where most of the USDC originates, but you, as you go through the withdrawal, there's going to be a point where you can drop down and you could withdraw USDC to other networks besides Ethereum. You would just pick Noble and enter the Noble address. It'll start with the word Noble. Now your stable coins get sent to this chain. You got USDC in Cosmos to get yourself started. We're almost at Archway. One more step and then we'll, uh, we'll get over there and play around with Astro Vault. Let's say you live in New York and you can't withdraw to the noble chain. I can only withdraw USDC to Ethereum, but I could buy Atom. It's the main token in the ecosystem. I could withdraw my Atom to my Cosmos wallet. Atom is the name of the token. Cosmos is the name of the chain. Little bit confusing, but once you're here, here you'll realize it's not so bad. <laughs> we, we just copy this address here, withdraw from Coinbase or Kraken or Binance. Atom is available on almost every exchange. And what's really cool is once you send the tokens there, it's very easy to get started on Archway. You don't even need any Arch tokens. You can get started with Atom. First thing I have to do is click this IBC. You can see it looks like a little, a little web here. It's showing the interconnected networks. I click this and I'm going to click my wallet. I want my Archway address. So it says this is an IBC transfer. It it's inter-blockchain communication. It means it's going to move tokens around the Cosmos uh, ecosystem of blockchains to get your atom over there. Let's just, uh, we'll just send one atom. Gas is so cheap. Once you're in Cosmos, it's really, you could send small amounts without um, worrying about the gas adding up. But yeah, let's review the transfer. Sending one atom from the Cosmos hub to my wallet on Archway. Let's uh, let's send it. All done. That's how quick and cheap transactions are in Cosmos if you're from Ethereum, even Polygon, right? This is pretty seamless. Um, these transactions are pretty reliable. Even if there's something with the network, there's an upgrade on one of the chains, you just wait a little bit and your tokens are back on the original network and you could try the transaction again. But you could see my one atom made its way to Archway. Let's go play around with Astro Vault for a bit. Here's Astro Vault. It's a DEX on the Archway network. And I've done videos on Astro Vault before. Like I said, they're going to have their token launch. I think when this video comes out, it'll be the next day. And yeah, previously they didn't have a token. But we're going to get started here with Atom. Usually when, you, when you're using a blockchain, you need their own token to pay gas. That's not the case here. I'm going to show you how to get around that with something called a fee grant. Basically, on Astro Vault, the first swap is free. Your first swap is going to get you some Arch tokens, so you do have gas tokens. And we're going to start with Atom. You could do this with Noble, 
right? If you were coming from ETH and you chose to use one of the bridges, you could just swap directly into Arch tokens to the Archway chain or add them to the Archway chain. Or if you make a mistake and you send your Atom to the Cosmos hub, you would just do the step before where I did the IBC transaction. But let's uh, let's get started. I'll use Kepler here. I get a pop-up for this permit that I have to um, create. It's for security purposes. And you could see this is my, my assets page. I've got one Atom. Ordinarily, I would be stuck because I don't have Arch tokens to pay gas on the Archway chain. But watch what happens. I'm going to swap it. I'm going to swap it for, I'll swap it for USDC. By the way, if you're not comfortable doing an IBC transaction because it's just, you know, first time, I get it. You could come here first. As long as you have Atom on the Cosmos chain, this could be a zero. And you click this here, it'll ask for your wallet connection. And you'll just deposit from IBC. It will do the IBC transfer the same way I did it, just different um, different user interface here. You could see my wallets down below. I could bring, I'll bring another half of an atom over. Click deposit. My wallet is popping up for the approval. You can't see that. You do have to approve these just like on any other network. And yeah, here's a cross-chain transaction where Adam is being brought from Cosmos over to Archway so I could use it here. We'll make it more comfortable for you. Here's the trade menu. Here's my Adam. Here's my, I'm, I'm going to trade it for um, USDC. Like I said, look at all these different stable coins. I'll trade it for Noble USDC. That's the Cosmos native. I'll do a half of an atom. And you could see that this button is not lit up. I can't do this transaction because I don't have, I don't have the gas paying token. But if I scroll a little further down, it says bootstrap your wallet. I'm a brand new user. I came from ETH. I want to use Astro Vault. I have to bootstrap my wallet. And you could see it gives me Atom. It's going to automatically trade a half an Atom into Arch. That's going to make sure that I have um I have the layer one token. Wallet pops up. I'll execute this. And that's one way you could take advantage of the fee grant in Cosmos. Obviously, it's a great feature for onboarding people like you. I'm assuming if you watch the video this long, you're coming from, from ETH. There we go. Transaction is done. Let's look at what the dashboard looks like now. Back to the My Assets dashboard. You could see I had 1.5 Atom. It took a and it turned that into Arch. Now I'm good with gas. The first one's always free, as they say. Now I could do my Atom for um, USDC trade. Let's get my Atom. Go for USDC. I want Noble. Could do X Atom also. It's a staking, liquid staking derivative. USDC Noble. Let's do half. $5 transactions. Can't really do this on ETH, right? You got to use big amounts for it to work out with the gas. Here goes the trade. That's how fast transactions are in Cosmos, by the way. Five seconds, something like that. All right, so you're onboarding onto Cosmos. You didn't know where to start. I gave you two bridges and two centralized exchange access points to the Cosmos ecosystem. We did two different versions of the IBC transfer, six different actions to get yourself started. You choose the pathway that's best for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you're Cosmos native, you probably didn't need to watch this whole video, but I appreciate you if you did. Share it with your friends. They can come over from ETH and uh, yeah, enjoy. Enter Cosmos. Have some fun.